Hello Collective, this is your daily reading uh, for how a person that you are curious about feels about you and I want to thank everybody who entered the contest for subscribing and hitting the notification bell as well as making a comment. So everything is in the uh, box below if you need to find out how to book a reading or my credentials or everything about the contest. So the energy reading for today, the energetic reading for how you, they feel about you is here. This can be virtually anyone. This could be an adult child who isn't speaking to you. This could be a lover. This could be a friend. This could be the pain in the butt neighbor or the neighbor you love. This is anybody that you're curious about, and it is for the collective, but I love the one we just had. It was closing out toxicity, giving toxicity a timeout. So that was yesterday. So I'm excited about these readings. They're kind of interesting. All right, the energy at the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Cups. You're walking away, and you're walking away from somebody who is a little secretive. They're growing. They need some time out. This could be like... You know, one of your college students, you know, one of your, it could be somebody you're close to that's just going through a difficult time. So in other words, if you have a friend who wants to call you up and nag and complain for an hour about their divorce from a person who they should probably not have married, I hate to say it that way, but anyway, what well, we're going to see what the cards say. I don't really want to put too much energy on it. Let's see. What is the energy for today? for how they feel about you. But it does show that, you know, the underlying energy, the hidden energy is like you want to disengage, okay? So how does this person feel about you? All right. It shows, yeah, yeah, that came up in the, that came up at the bottom of the deck. They're going through a really, really big change. They're at a crossroads in their life. Um, they're really, really trying. They're trying to earn their money. They're trying to create wealth. And for many of them, they're they're on their way. The star card. I mean, they think that you walk on water. They think that you're beautiful. They feel as though you have inner beauty. That's a card of deep spirituality. A very loving person. Uh, it also shows that they think sometimes that you know you're not always willing to entertain their swords here because when we look at this the eight of swords also shows it is a chrysalis this person's in a painful situation and they can't get out of their own head that's gemini energy this is aquarius energy you know the two of coins is capricorn energy but i wouldn't get too caught up in any of that i mean sun signs you know signs count but you know but this shows that this person also thinks that they need to win you back they feel as though your relationship is on the skids and they're all up in their head about it and that they need to change, that they need to change basically the way they have approached you. So what I see them doing is you might have gotten a really beautiful gift during the holidays. They're, this doesn't look romantic to me per se, but it shows that this person feels like, sometimes they feel like they compete with you. Let's see how else they feel. They do love you. Isn't that sweet? Eight of, uh, yeah, they're working to get in your good graces, okay? The moon card, they know that you have some feelings about them that are a little bit, <laughs> I like this. This is a very sweet reading, honestly. It shows that it's probably a younger person in your life who's going through some turmoil, but let's clarify it quickly for you. You know, the overall energy here is good because you're really coming up as the high priestess, as the outcome. You're in a good spiritual place. It can be a work relationship. This could be any relationship that is probably uh, of a platonic nature. Uh, somebody who, and I, this came out, the son of pentacles. So it's probably a child, and it, and it could be an adult child most likely. Uh, or, you know, it could be if you're, you could be that you have a younger friend, you know, you could be 25 and have, uh, you know, a friend at work in the environment who's sort of innocent or whatever. Also, too, I get that they're not really getting enlightenment yet. Okay, so let's see what the chrysalis is about. Why are they all up in their head about you? And it shows that, oh, they really like you and they want your approval. 
and it shows the three <laughs> the three of swords means that they feel as though there's a third party you know oftentimes that's a card that you know there's three friends and somebody feels on the outs okay why is the ten of coins here uh, the daughter of cups upside down yeah they just feel like they're they feel as though you're not really buying what they're selling or that they don't bring enough value to the table. They feel that you're very aloof with them. That you know, you're not really you're not really treating them badly. You're treating them quite well, but they all of a sudden they see an aloofness where in the past with the wands you were much more interactive with them. So they know that you've pulled back. The two of coins is they're trying to juggle why you did that. Okay, why you would pull back from this person. Well, <laughs> the toxicity that something about there's a sort of a competitive situation that really isn't healthy and it shows that they view you as being the person who's going to be the bigger person you're going to step out of it and that whatever toxicity is left in the relationship is actually how you look at them that you look at them as somebody who needs to sort of clean up your act okay this guy needs a shave or something <laughs> and, and then it shows ace of cups okay ten of swords so the worst is over that's really good but the person will continue to be in their head a little bit you know this would be totally over with a new beginning with you but they haven't achieved that yet so what they're going to try to do is really 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 hone in on the fact they're going to try to prove to you that they're love that they love you that they're dedicated to you that they're working on the relationship with you they're fearful about how this is going to turn out but you know at the end of the day it shows that they think that they may not be able to win you back uh, they feel very burdened and kind of guilty eight of coins they want to work on it Four of Swords, they've had a wake-up call that's making them depressed about their own behavior, which is good. Again, I keep getting this energy of pages, so this is probably, even if they're not young, young, they're, they're younger than you, even by a year or two. Yep. And Restore. The really nice thing is that, you know, I don't get... I don't get them holding on so hard. Whatever the competitive situation is here, whatever's made this awkward, they're gonna give up the behavior to some extent. High Priestess, you come out on top collective because you are glorious and enlightened with the Star card and High Priestess card. They, You have a lot of major arcanas here. You're really, really a very positive impact on this person's life. They are not such a positive impact on yours, but you're the bigger person. You're good. So that is what I see for your reading for today. Take care. Bye-bye.